After divorce, she returned to the pinnacle of the entertainment industry, with love affairs as the springboard, her ex-husband as the support, and the end of making money was her ex-husband. She was constantly torn apart and shameless, and the entertainment industry was full of various forms in this book. The entertainment industry used to be at the top, but now only Shinyo remains. On the day of divorce, she joined a romantic show and went on a date with different male celebrities in front of her ex-husband from night until dawn. Are you here to meet me in the love show? The former husband of the investor was moved by himself. You came to participate in the love show because your feelings for me are still lingering, so please take advantage of my popularity. My ex-boyfriend was narcissistic. You came to love show to go on a date with me. I knew you loved me. My former colleague thought to himself. I returned to the peak of the entertainment industry to make money, but at the end, I ended up with my ex-husband. Keywords of the novel Returning to the peak of internal entertainment in the love show, no pop-ups for making money for ex-husband, returning to the peak of internal entertainment in the love show, downloading the complete TXT series for making money for ex-husband, returning to the peak of internal entertainment in the love show, reading the latest chapters on making money for ex-husband. Chapter 1. The Best Ex-Husband in History. You are listening at NovelFull.audio. Chapter 1. The Best Ex-Husband in History, Thank You, Lu Lin Fong. The three years we've been together have been so wonderful, holding the divorce agreement, Yi Mushiao didn't even lift her head as she looked at the property division section that read, the woman will receive 200 million yuan in cash. Although she happily praised her ex-husband Lu Lin Fong, she still had a sad face, tears in her eyes, and couldn't help but laugh out loud. The man in the car didn't react at all, just looked at Yi Mushiao calmly without saying a word. Yu Guang saw that Lu Linfeng was staring at her all the time. Yi Mushiao was a bit embarrassed by his reaction and couldn't help but speak. Staring at me like this is too penetrating. You've already obtained your divorce certificate. Do you regret it? Yi Mushiao raised an eyebrow at Lu Linfeng with tearful eyes. Take care of yourself, the man said coldly and warmly. MMM don't worry, I will definitely not cause you any trouble. Yi Mushiao nodded repeatedly, afraid that Lu Linfeng would turn back. The two remained speechless all the way until they returned to the villa where they had lived together for three years. Yi Mushiao got off the car, fingerprint the door, and picked up his luggage, walking briskly. Lu Linfeng stood quietly at the door, watching her finish all this with an expressionless expression. After stabilizing her overly happy mood, Yi Mushia walked up to Lu Linfeng and looked up at those beautiful eyes. Lu Linfeng, thank you and I wish you a happy and fulfilling life in the future. Looking at this outstanding face, Lu Linfeng suddenly raised his hand to touch Yi Mushiao's face, and his slender thumb rubbed under his beautiful eyebrows and eyes. When encountering difficulties that cannot be solved, you can come to me. Lu Linfeng still showed rare warmth. This move was too familiar and Yi Mushiao was worried that the other person would kiss her. She rushed into her solid chest muscles and hugged Lu Linfeng's slender waist, which was shaped like an inverted triangle. Well, I will remember your words. Leaving Lu Linfeng's embrace gracefully, Yi Mushiao put away his gentle smile and immediately changed into another set of faces. It's really tiring to pretend to be a little white rabbit every day, finally relieved. Looking at the figure walking away, Lu Linfeng took out his phone and dialed back the dozen or so missed calls. I have already divorced, everything else is going according to plan. On the way out, Yi Mushiao recalled the three years of marital life, which can be said to be very harmonious. Two people each take what they need, treat each other as guests, and satisfy both physically and mentally. Three years ago, Lu Linfeng suddenly found her and gave her an agreement that was difficult to refuse. Marry him and maintain a three-year marriage, and you can give her 200 million to solve the family debt you have on your back. This is more effective in solving one's own difficulties than the money earned by participating in various dinners and dedicating one's life to film and television resources. 
It can be said that Lu Lin Fong was the savior who appeared in the darkest time of her life. At this moment, he is the best ex-husband in history. Because 200 million cash has been received. In just one minute of happiness, all the money was frozen by the court. Although the happiness was brief, the money was enough to pay off all the debts. Starting from negative numbers and ending at zero is also good news. Dingling Bell my best friend's agent Jiang Yuyu called on time and said, Xiao Xiao, are you ready? I'll pick you up now, and we'll join the group directly. No need, my ex-husband asked the butler to take me away. Let's meet directly at our destination. Yi Mushiao is a bit excited. She has just divorced and has a new job. Isn't this an opportunity to turn from zero to positive? Okay, I'll send you the script first. You have your character and plot arrangements, and it's time for you to put in your acting skills again. Jiang and Yi Mushiao grew up together again from a young age, just like before. They were swift and efficient, especially when it came to Yi Mushiao's affairs. There was no one who cared more than her. At the end of the speech, the script had already been sent to Yi Mushiao's phone. New Love is a love show in live streaming mode, where every move of the guests will be presented in the live broadcast. I have been doing quite a variety show in live streaming mode recently, and I often come across it myself. Each guest, every night, chooses a different male guest to date until dawn. Oh, that's it. Hmm. Five seconds later, Yi Mushiao sat up in shock. Meet a new man every night. Are all the love shows playing so big now? Looking at the guest list again. In order to showcase the most authentic status of all guests towards the participants, the list will not be announced for now. Unexpectedly completely hidden. The production team is quite good at creating gimmicks, but the top priority is to create momentum for themselves before joining the group. I opened my Weibo and TikTok, and on social networks that haven't been updated for three years, there are still a large number of fans leaving messages every day to commemorate her sudden disappearance as an undead. Post a beautiful selfie with the caption, Guess where we met. In less than 10 minutes, the hot search about Yi Mushiao rushed to the top. The all dot around female celebrity Yi Mushiao, who disappeared for three years, has returned to the entertainment industry, Yi Mushiao sends a scarf. Yi Mushiao takes selfies. Yi Mushiao. Watching the top 20 trending topics occupy 7, Yi Mushiao slightly raised the corner of her mouth. At present, everything seems to be going according to plan. The three years of breathing time given by Lu Lin Fong, Although he has temporarily left the film and television industry, the popularity has been maintained very well. Regular selfies are released by the studio, and fans occasionally upload group photos of their travels. They also frequently attend charity events. Except for not being included in the group for filming, I have never left the public site for the rest of the time. After laying the groundwork for three years, it all depends on this love show. New Love is a newly launched dating variety show, featuring a total of 10 permanent guests, including 5 men and 5 women, all of whom are internet celebrities and well.known influencers. Due to its luxurious lineup, it has received extremely high attention since the first episode and is the first S-plus investment variety show in the industry. Yi Mushiao is going to make a comeback on this program tonight. Although various variety shows have scripts, the popularity still depends on one's own hype. For example, in this comeback, we always need to leave some foreshadowing in advance to stimulate the enthusiasm of fans and marketing accounts. The elongated white Rolls Royce Phantom stopped at the entrance of the villa area on the outskirts of Yuncheng. The driver, dressed in a high dot end uniform, was spirited and slightly bent down to open the car door. Miss Yi, the destination has arrived. Please take care of your luggage and take good care of yourself. Thank you, Manager Lin. Goodbye by chance. Facing the surprised and stunning gazes of the crowd, Yi Mushiao got off the luxury car. Yi Mushiao, who has not appeared in the spotlight for three years, still stands out wherever he goes. With a delicate face and tall figure, 
Yi Mushiao in front of the camera is so delicate that there seems to be no blind spots. Yi Mushiao calmly faced the camera and warmly greeted every artist and staff member. Until Agent Jiang grabbed her hand again, walked through the crowd, and came behind a tall and familiar figure. Xiao Xiao, this is the investor of our love show. Jiang murmured the investor's information again in a low voice. Yi Mushiao took a deep breath isn't it? Can't it be so coincidental? The tall man seemed to sense something and turned to look over. The two of them spoke in unison, is that you? End of this chapter. Chapter 2 Shura Field of Former Husband and Former Husband in the Same Frame You are listening at Novel Full Audio. Chapter 2 Shura Field of Former Husband and Former Husband in the Same Frame The investor is actually Lu Linfong. It turns out that this variety show was only invested by Lu Group in S+. Why did all this thankless work of the two sons of the Lu family go to Lu Linfong? Wait. It's already divorced. His affairs have nothing to do with me anymore. Yi Mushiao needs to adjust her mindset and hurry out. Although it's a bit strange to see each other half a day after divorce, not coming here is not just for making money. You can't hang your attention on a tree. Moreover, there are four top male celebrities in the entertainment industry waiting for themselves to be pampered. Yi Mushiao. A somewhat familiar voice drifted over Lu Linfeng's shoulder, breaking the awkward atmosphere between the two. Who is it? Yi Mushiao exclaimed in his heart which benefactor he was, saving me from the midst of fire and water. It's me, Gao Tianxu, long time no see, now Yi Mushiao is really suffocating. It was also confirmed that the production team ultimately finalized her reasons from numerous female stars. Back then, rumors of her affair with Gao Tianxu were rampant, and although the two had always denied their relationship in public news, no one in the industry knew that they were really together. Just why it suddenly broke, no one knows the real reason. Nowadays, male actors are becoming popular and are a model for the new generation of idol actors. The output of idol dramas is stable, and there is still one main drama that can participate every year. His company also invested in this variety show, and his own company spent money on him to participate in the love show. It was just a matter of passing the buck, and the company did not take advantage of his fame to the extreme, which was a waste of money. The most topical thing is to invite the ex-girlfriend of the man to participate in a love show together. I am a top-tier player who has disappeared for three years, and I would not refuse this opportunity to make a comeback. Speaking of which, it's a win-dot-win -win situation for both parties, but Yi Mushiao has grown extremely disgusted with Gao Tianxu, who is harmless to people and animals in front of her. If it weren't for so many people, she would really want to make up for the slap she didn't have when she broke up. Her subtle facial expressions and Zhang's green face next to her were all captured by Lu Linfeng. How? Do we know each other? Lu Linfeng still asked without any emotions. Hello Mr. Lu, I'm Yi Mushiao. Mr. Gao is the male actor I used to work with, it's been a long time since we last met. Why do I have to explain to him? Yi Mushiao stubbornly resisted in her heart, but her mouth remained honest. There have been some rumors circulating in the industry about Mr. Gao and me, hoping it won't affect the progress of this variety show. Mushiao explained with a guilty heart, her tone somewhat green tea. When I say this, I usually get a sympathetic look. Unfortunately, Lu Linfeng was not an ordinary person, and he could hear how much tea was included in Yi Mushiao's words. Oh. Are you here on this variety show for Mr. Gao? Lu Linfeng's tone was provocative, deliberately revealing Yi Mushiao's tea language. Well, of course not. I came because this is currently the largest variety show produced in the entertainment industry, and it is a solid first step for me to make a comeback in the entertainment industry. Ah ah. What's going on? Why should I tell him my thoughts in my heart? Yi Mushiao became increasingly devastated and just wanted to quickly escape from the Shura field where her ex-husband and ex were in the same frame. 
Since that's the case, please ask Miss Yi to withdraw from this love show. A cold sentence drifted over, and Yi Mushiao looked at Lu Lin Feng in surprise. What's wrong with this person? He doesn't care who goes to salvage the project they invested in before. Besides, no one knows about their hidden marriage with him. Are you in such a hurry to avoid suspicion when the atmosphere reached freezing point, the chief director Li Feng walked over with his arm around Gao Tianxu's shoulder. Oh, Mr. Lu, you don't know. They've been dating for quite some time before, but they've been hiding very well, and no one outside the circle knows about them. In our love show this time, they're a guarantee of super high ratings. The chief director of the program, Li Fengyue, became more and more excited, almost saying that Gao Tianxu and Yi Mushiao would directly pair up and join hands to settle in a luxurious seaside villa. Well, Miss Yi is quite good at hiding. Lu Linfeng's face became increasingly cold and stern, with his handsome nose bridge and cold eyebrows and eyes that could freeze him to death. The staff present were all attracted by Lu Linfeng's abrupt words, and the number of onlookers gradually increased. Director Li jokingly said that the ratings of the program all depend on your and the behind-the-scenes staff's collaborative filming. We are just actors who act with scripts. When Gao Tian is comfortable, he comes out to make a scene, and his own girlfriend is also present. Isn't this stupid director lacking in vision? I'm talking to Yi Mu Xiao. What's up with you? It has to be said that Lu Linfeng's affluent family background and cultivated temperament always bring a strong sense of oppression to others. Even top-tier individuals like Gao Tianxu, who see real capital, are quick to kneel down. But he has one advantage, which is that he is shameless. Mr. Lu seems to be very concerned about me and Xiao Xiao's matter. Don't worry, we haven't been in touch for a long time, and we have been peaceful for many years. Although Gao Tianxu always wears a harmless expression, his heart is extremely dark. Before Yi Mushiao, in order to attract resources for him, he was often tricked. Fortunately, I stopped at the cliff and woke up in time. But disgusting, looking at this sunny and gentle face, there was a chill. Yeah, he was persistent with me back then, but it took some effort to get rid of him. If Mr. Lu is interested, let's talk over and I'll tell you everything I want to know. This scene is too hellish, Yi Mushiao just wants to quickly get rid of his ex, this dog man. Okay, Lu Lin Feng said to no one and picked up his phone to make a phone call. Manager Lin, come pick me up. Yi Mushiao feels a great sense of unease. Isn't it? Everyone just saw her get off that car. He did it on purpose. You, come with me. Not giving Yi Mushiao a chance to escape, Lu Linfeng walked over directly, grabbed her arm, and walked out. Men are all possessive, let alone their ex-wife who came to participate in a love show on the day of their divorce, and the male guest who successfully paired up may also be their ex-wife's ex-boyfriend. Whether Lu Linfeng is swearing in sovereignty or angry, it is reasonable. But after all, everyone is an adult and also from this circle. Yi Mushiao understands the reason why Lu Lin Feng did this. For hype, Yi Mushiao thought to herself that she truly deserved to be a family business, with a natural business acumen, and directly created a big news story about actresses colluding with investors for a comeback, just ten minutes into the beautiful scenery, I was pulled back to the car along the original path, and the scenery before me was laid in vain. Yi Mushiao was about to cry without tears. He made his first appearance three years later and before he could utter a complete sentence, he passively went through the Shura hell where his ex-husband and ex were simultaneously attacked. Waterloo on the first day of his comeback, the path in the entertainment industry is really difficult to follow as soon as she entered the car, Yi Mushiao immediately showed a dejected state and collapsed in the back seat. Lu Linfeng stared at her disfigured appearance that she didn't even want to pretend. A few minutes later, Seeing that Yi Mushiao didn't have the intention to explain, he first broke the barrier and asked a question. Isn't the money enough? Hmm. Why do you ask that? Yi Mushiao still collapsed in his seat, completely ignoring his image. Quit this variety show, I'll transfer your salary directly. 
Lu Linfeng's tone softened a lot when facing Yi Mushiao alone, but Yi Mushiao remained indifferent. Mr. Lu, I just came out to work. This is my first job since returning, and I cherish it very much. Yi Mushiao continued to be paralyzed, treating Lu Linfeng in a completely different way. You insisted on getting divorced, and now you're bothering me again. Adult marriage is not a game, can we all settle down separately? Lu Linfeng. Xiao Xiao, do you know why I want to divorce you? End of this chapter. Chapter 3. Don't be hard. You are listening at novelfull.audio. Chapter 3. Don't be hard upon hearing this, Yi Mushiao finally had a reaction. She sat straight like chicken blood. Her marriage to Lu Linfeng was always accompanied by an agreement from the beginning. Literally written with the starting number, but without specifying the end time. Yi Mushiao doesn't want to know the reason, it's just a matter of one sentence. But the spirit of the agreement still needs to be there, who knows if the other party is probing her. Without asking why, Yi Mushiao turned her head to look at Lu Linfeng. You didn't say it, but in the agreement you asked me to sign, it also said, don't have any questions about you. Lu Linfeng didn't answer, just silently stared at Yi Mushiao and sighed a long time later. Are you making up your mind to participate in the new love? Yes. The money given by this program is in place, and it can also promote couples' careers. In the future, it will receive the most popular couples' votes, and there will also be top dot level film and commercial resources, which are enough for artists in the industry to compete. Yi Mushiao firmly expressed his attitude, and the other person sat quietly after listening. Her whole face was expressionless, but her gaze remained fixed on her, as if lost in thought. Yi Mushiao looked at Lu Linfeng from bottom to top, and the handmade frosted leather shoes were spotless. The cuffs of the pants on the ankles have been carefully treated, and the silk and cotton legs are straight and stylish, faintly revealing the staggered muscle lines of the legs. Everything is flawless as usual, but there is still no visible emotion. After a few minutes of stalemate, Lu Linfeng finally spoke up. Since you have made the decision, I respect your choice. He looked at her, trying to maintain his inner peace, but the emotions in his eyes grew stronger and stronger. Yi Mushiao ignored Lu Linfeng's emotional changes and avoided his scorching gaze. Neither of them spoke. The carriage fell silent again, and Yi Mushiao glanced at his phone. It took another ten minutes, enough time for rumors to spread. Thank you, Mr. Lu. Also, it was a long time ago when Gao Tian Shu and I were together. He's not one thousandth of yours. There's nothing I need to do, so I'll leave first. Yi Mushiao didn't wait for Lu Linfeng's answer, so she wiped off her lipstick with her hand. The uneven redness of the mouth reached around the small and plump lips, even rubbing a slight red on the chin. She lowered her head, inserted her fingers into her hair and rubbed it randomly, then lifted her head and shook her messy hair. After a series of operations, Yi Mushiao felt as if she had been forcibly kissed. The image is awkward, and the hairstyle is messy. She pulled the shoulder straps of her skirt under her arms again, grabbed the hem of her skirt, and rubbed it with her hands a few times. The smooth and smooth skirt hem only has eerie creases on the side. Lu Linfeng was slightly surprised as he watched Yi Mushiao complete this set of operations, but did not stop him. She smiled at the other person with this embarrassed expression. His surprise flashed across his face, and he quickly understood what Yi Mushiao was going to do, with a faint smile on his lips. He quietly watched Yi Mushiao finish his performance and even cooperated by unbuttoning the top two buttons of his shirt. She turned around and was about to get off the car but Lu Linfeng opened the car door for her first. Although half of his body was exposed, his arms cleverly blocked his face, and a pleasant voice came from his side. Take care of yourself. Hmm. Yi Mushiao didn't look back and quickly ran out of the car, shaking his hand hard to close the car door. She trimmed her hair, tidied up her clothes, and pretended to be nervous while observing the surroundings. The people around should have been cleared by Lu Linfeng, 
but it's a piece of cake for the station sister who has professional cannon shots. Even if she is on the other side of the mountain or the other side of the sea, they can still create a confrontational effect. Anyway, I am also prepared for the dark and red, and being exposed can still earn a wave of traffic. It is important to first communicate with the crew about the love show process, as someone who shouldn't have appeared on the set just now. The first step in making a comeback must be within a controllable range, and by the way, investigate what the mystery behind this variety show is. However, before walking 10 meters away, a piercing girl came from a crowd in the distance. Yi Mu Xiao. You've already seduced the investors. Why are you still hanging on to my boyfriend? Ah. Auntie. What are you talking nonsense about? The other party was just a few years older than Yi Mu Xiao, with an excessively fierce face and a pile of wrinkles squeezed out. Yi Mu Xiao immediately put on a panicked look and nervously looked around, deliberately, feeling guilty, by tidying up the collar of her skirt. Take a closer look at the face of the crazy woman, and it's very certain that you don't know her. I don't know how to offend her, and I wish I were about to devour myself alive. Sure enough, the crazy woman didn't answer and rushed over, wildly swinging her round arm and slapping Yi Mu Xiao's face. After Yi Mu Xiao dodged on her side, the woman unexpectedly performed a five legged performance due to her excessive inertia. Good guy. How much effort has been put into this? Yi Mu Xiao quickly took a step aside and looked up at the surroundings. Some staff members were already holding up their phones to take photos here. I didn't touch her. Everyone can video testify for me. Yi Mu Xiao quickly raised his hands and took a few steps towards the empty space with a gloomy expression on his face. Wow. The woman suddenly burst into tears and struggled to attack Yi Mu Xiao. What is this situation? Yi Mu Xiao felt that tearing up with such a person was pointless and too damaging to her image. It was better to quickly avoid her attacks of snot and tears. She grabbed the hem of her skirt with both hands, stepped on her 10 centimeter high heels, and rushed straight to the nearby filming team. At that speed, Sheng Sheng ran out of a momentum of 100 meters and 10 seconds. However, the first person to come and help was actually Gao Tian Xu. Xiao Xiao, don't be afraid, this is all a misunderstanding. I'll help you. Damn it. How unlucky. Quickly changed direction and rushed towards the nearby group of photographers. The filming equipment is life, and these people immediately became alert and prepared to stop the chaos. Just as the woman was about to pounce, Gao Tian Xu rushed over and hugged this crazy woman who had broken free. Xiao Xiao. Don't be impulsive. I have no relationship with her for a long time. The person I love now is you. Gao Tian Xu has been caressing the woman's hair with his hands, soothing her emotions. The woman named Xiao Xiao cried again and shouted uncontrollably in Gao Tian Xu's arms. Why did she say it was you persistently beating her up? It wasn't you who dumped her, she never forgot her love for you. As the photographers raised their long guns and short cannons, Yi Mu Xiao's eyes quickly locked onto the director Li Feng standing behind numerous cameras. Li Feng's gaze collided and he shouted in his heart, We're going to suffer. Yi Mu Xiao took a deep breath and his expression changed dramatically. The circles around the eyes instantly moistened, tears swirling around them. A slender jade hand pointed straight at Li Feng, even the fingertips were full of acting skills. Director Li Feng. You come to evaluate. You know the relationship between Gao Tian Xu and me the best. When we were on set in Begushui town, you heard insiders say it. Yi Mu Xiao's acting skills exploded and she suddenly threw away her burden. Li Feng was greatly shocked in his heart. This north ancient water town is his walking wheat city. He wanted to sneak rules with Yi Mu Xiao, but instead, she turned around and held him sadly. Li Feng was panicked and wanted to pretend to be drunk, but he only drank a glass of red wine. Simply shout out, stop fighting. Everyone calm down. Let's have a good conversation. These three people, one is Dan Xiao Xiao, 
one of the bosses of the Love Show Production Company, the other is Gao Tian Xu, a top male god in the entertainment industry, and the other is Yi Mu Xiao, who is not clear with big investors. No matter how they choose, they are all giving away propositions. With a few strands of his hair drifting away in the wind and burning his brain, Director Li finally made a choice. End of this chapter Chapter 4 Power on Rollover You are listening at NovelFull.audio Chapter 4 Power on Rollover, I Can't Catch My Breath My Heart Hurts So Much Hurry Up Take Me to the Hospital After Speaking, He Hit His Assistant Straight and Straight Li Feng furrowed his brows and closed his eyes tightly. Because he has done heart bypass surgery, the performance of a heart attack is particularly realistic. Yi Mu Xiao couldn't help but praise Li Tutu, who chose self-destruction instead of helping anyone. This performance is too realistic. Not making a cameo appearance in a movie and getting the best supporting actor would be a shame for today's amazing acting skills. But it can be seen that the real reason why Li Feng found an assistant weighing 1.8 meters or 180 pounds must be to facilitate catching him, who is short and bulky. The assistant hugged Li Feng's back with one hand, lifted his legs directly with the right hand, and the princess picked up Li Feng. It's just that the visuals are a bit I. Catching this road out of the villa area may be toxic and not a single person has walked smoothly on these back and forth trips watching Li Feng leave, listening to the conversation between Gao Tian Xu and Shan Xiao Xiao, I roughly understood their relationship and the identity of the woman. It's really embarrassing to mess around like this for a dog man. Yi Mu Xiao looked disdainfully at the two of them and asked Jiang to take him to find the assistant director again. Since Shan Xiao Xiao is the leader of the production company, it is highly likely that there is a problem with the script in his hands. And the assistant director is a newcomer in the industry, but it is said that his family background and personal abilities are very superior. He was determined to become an art film director, but due to lack of experience, he had to hide his identity and work in the studio of a major director. Li Feng is also used to being arrogant. Apart from eating at Yi Mu Xiao's place, he does everything he wants. Dealing with young people who have their own desires is even more ruthless. Since the beginning of the preparation stage for this love show, all of it has been handed over to the new assistant director. Every day is a busy day for the assistant director, so Li Feng just needs to criticize him. However, precisely because everything is done by himself, no one knows the program's process and the details that need to be paid attention to better than him. This kind of artistic creator from a wealthy family is not easily bought by Shan Xiao Xiao Company's small profits. On the way over, Yi Mu Xiao tidied up her messy hair, while Jiang kept spitting at the scumbag Gao Tian Xu. Xiao Xiao, don't be angry. This scumbag will definitely be punished. We used to help him so sincerely, let's see how he repaid us in the end. No, this kind of person is not worth wasting any more energy on. Just ignore and avoid it, but we still need him as a stepping stone, so let's endure more. Jiang turned his head again to look at Yi Mu Xiao, wanting to see if his good friend really had the same heart. It doesn't seem to have much impact on the appearance, but just after divorcing my ex-husband, I was disgusted by him. Why do beautiful and kind-hearted people suffer from the disappearance of her parents and two billion yuan in debt at home Jiang's eyes turned red as she thought about it again. Suddenly, she hugged Yi Mu Xiao and gently stroked her back. Xiao Xiao, don't hold back any grievances on your own, and don't tell me anything. I will definitely find a way to help you share it. Mm, don't worry, there are many things I can't explain to you now. When conditions permit, I will definitely tell you. For example, my ex-husband was not an ordinary outsider, but the second son of the top billionaire family, the Lu Group, and the investor of this S-plus romance show, Lu Linfeng. Yi Mu Xiao can only keep this matter in his heart now, after all, it was Lu Linfeng who requested a three-dot-year hidden marriage. The request of the wealthy father, how can he not share the burden for others after taking the money? 
the two of them walked a long way and finally found the assistant director in a remote security room. This environment is too bad, with old wooden beds, walls covered in dents and scratches, and a rudimentary office desk. A handsome young man dressed in a black long-sleeved shirt, clean and tidy, sat obediently at his desk. His eyebrows furrowed, and his clear and bright eyes gleamed with sorrow. I have a pink thermos by my hand, and in front of me are red dates and longans as snacks. Occasionally, I put one in my mouth and chew it slowly. The whole person exudes a sense of composure and wellness that is incompatible with their age. Hello Director Fu Ji, I am Jiang Yuyu, the general manager of Yi Jiang Studio. This is our top artist Yi Mushiao. Fu Ji was a little surprised that his apparent identity was just an assistant director who did all kinds of miscellaneous work. How could a celebrity come directly to him? Do you have anything to do? Excuse me for bothering you. Director Fu. When I was reading the script before, I didn't find Gao Tian Shu on the guest list. Is there a change in the program process? Jiang came straight to the point and directly raised his own questions. The guest list was originally obtained by her and Xiao Xiao through extraordinary means, but the actual personnel were still different. That is to say, the crew also has information bias or backup plans here. Gao Tianxu joined as a flying guest and will participate in the program irregularly. I checked the script and it seems that he will definitely participate in the first, second, sixth, and seventh episodes. The rest of the episodes will be arranged based on his schedule. In fact, Fu Ji was also very puzzled about this arrangement, and suddenly set up flying guests to replace the original guests. I always feel like there are some design arrangements here, but currently I can't find any flaws, so I can only see what unexpected situations may arise during filming. Well, I have another question to ask you. Isn't our filming all live this time, even when the male and female guests are dating all night? Well, the plot is designed like this. But it will be fine-tuned based on the audience's reaction after the live broadcast. After listening to Zhang's conversation with Fu Ji again, Yi Mushiao fell into contemplation. This plot arrangement can be considered the largest scale in the entertainment industry. Are the conditions for passing the review so lenient now, could you please take a look at my process, Fu Jian? Is there any difference between it and what you have in hand? Yi Mushiao always feels that something is wrong, so it's better to rest assured with him about the script. Isn't this nonsense? Fu Ji just saw the first episode and shouted angrily, Miss Yi, who gave you this script? Such a big mistake in my work, I will definitely have the studio come forward and dismiss this person when I go back here. Jiang was shocked again and said, I have only received the scripts for the first two episodes so far. The contact person of the production team said that the plot will change the way guests interact with each other according to the popularity of the internet. Don't worry. Let's see if you can contact the crew's liaison personnel first. Yi Mushiao patted Jiang Yuyu's shoulder to calm her down. Most likely, the person in charge of this docking can't be found now, but you can still get a normal script to see where the other party wants to break it. I compared the correct script and it's really unethical. However, as the startup is imminent, solving the case here is meaningless. If the fox fails, it will definitely become a demon again. After taking away the correct script, Yi Mushiao also asked Fu Ji to mark all the most beautiful filming locations for the camera, using his artistic film director's aesthetic to mark them, which would definitely make a special film. Yi Mushiao picked up his phone and sent a message to the person he had contacted in advance saying that there was a change in plan. The day at Shura Field has finally come to an end. The next day, New Love finally started. The largest investment variety show in history, the large dot scale variety show Swap Love, which gathers many celebrities, is in good luck. The host's resounding and powerful voice reached the ears of each participant, but at the same time, a voice that stunned everyone was transmitted through the microphone. Ah! Yi Mushiao! Why are you all here too? Isn't it enough to grab my resources? You still have to grab my boyfriend. 
End of this chapter. Chapter 5. Colleagues Beforehand Tearing. You are listening at novelfull.audio. Chapter 5 Colleagues Beforehand Tearing the Enmity in the Entertainment Industry can sometimes be so unexpected. Who would have thought that the good sisters who helped each other when they started their careers would be able to tear them apart three years later? The stunning female voice that shattered the sky came from someone Yi Muxiao was familiar with. Li Wanqing. Previously, she debuted in the same company as Li Wanqing and Gao Song, all three of whom were inexperienced individuals. They both faced criticism from senior executives in the entertainment industry and were ostracized by influential idols during the same period. At that time, the ups and downs had endured, but after becoming popular, the disputes gradually increased. Firstly, his good friend Jiang successfully joined their company and became Yi Muxiao's full dot time agent. The three of them separated their businesses, and Yi Muxiao's resources made a qualitative leap. Furthermore, Yi Muxiao had already seen Li Wanqing's thoughts on Gao Song clearly, while Gao Song was particularly concerned about herself. The relationship between the three is too crowded, let alone this kind of shared suffering. Yi Muxiao cherishes the feelings of the three. In the days to come, the gatherings of the three gradually decreased. Until Yi Muxiao suddenly withdrew from the entertainment industry, their connection was completely severed. What kind of misunderstanding is this? I haven't been in touch for three years, how can we meet? The first thing we say is shocking and thunderous. All the long guns and short cannons from various media outlets were thrown at the two people, and Yi Muxiao still wondered why Li Wanqing was at the startup site. It was discovered that one of the four fixed male guests was missing, while Gao Song kept standing aside to stop Li Wanqing from making other inappropriate moves. Originally, a male guest was replaced by Gao Song you have a girlfriend and are still participating in a love show. Don't learn from Gao Tianxu. You have a wealthy woman and a wealthy owner who still pretends to be single. It's really unethical who knew that Li Wanqing continued to shout loudly. The last female guest was originally me. It was because you wanted to make a comeback. I was replaced. Gao Song and I also broke up because of you. He learned yesterday afternoon that you came to the production team to participate in the love show, and suddenly agreed to the invitation to come and participate in the show. It's all your fault. After speaking, she started to cover her face and cry loudly. What you said has no reason. I haven't been in touch with you two for four or five years. Why bother snatching your boyfriend? Yi Muxiao stayed in the villa for three years, performing various roles and honing his acting skills in his mind every day. She quickly walked up to the director in three steps and two steps, forcing him to appear in the camera at the same time as herself. Director Li Feng I was invited by you to participate in New People's Love and was the first person to be selected. The reality is that someone tried to replace me but was not successful, right? Li Feng was suddenly cued by her and couldn't escape in time, so he could only nod awkwardly. This action was enough for Yi Muxiao to perform, and she then calmly asked Li Wanqing. You said I replaced you. But the reality is that you didn't squeeze me out, and then you separated from your boyfriend. You went to the variety show and made a fool of yourself out of your mental state. Considering our past relationship, if you don't know how to leave, I can help you call the best psychiatrist in Yinqing to pick you up. As soon as Yi Muxiao finished speaking, two security personnel rushed over and escorted Li Wanqing away. All of this is a disaster from heaven, Yi Muxiao thought to herself. When two security guards dragged Li Wanqing away, they passed by Lu Linfeng's side. I don't know what he said, but Li Wanqing, who was originally struggling recklessly, felt like she was struck by lightning and wilted. She obediently left the scene with the security personnel. The host took advantage of the situation and quickly concluded. Ladies and gentlemen, we are very sorry to inform you that this lady is not our guest performer. Her recent speech was entirely based on our own imagination, and we reserve the right to hold her legally accountable. At this point, the internet has already exploded, 
with related hot searches occupying the top 10 of the entertainment rankings on Weibo. Yi Mushiao intervenes with Li Wanqing and Gao Song, Gao Song splits legs with Yi Mushiao, Li Wanqing causes a big fuss over love and transfers to a romantic drama crew, Yi Mushiao tears Li Wanqing on sight, however, they all disappeared within an hour, and New Love also issued a statement clarifying that Yi Mushiao had no connection with Gao Song. Everything was reminiscent of Li Wanqing's mental illness after losing love, which led to her losing control of her emotions and causing a scene of chaos at the startup. In order to prevent Yi Mushiao from deviating from the focus of the program, the management will intervene as soon as possible to stop it, which is just a routine. At this point, the program has been on for an hour, and all guests will check into their rooms before gathering in the lobby. The check that I end process set by the program team is for all female guests to stay in the same room, similar to a women's dormitory. Only when the pairing is successful on the same night can they stay with male guests in the top dot level C view villa in the villa area. However, Yi Mushiao received the script and chose a room he liked. After checking in, he did not communicate with any guests and waited until 7 o'clock in the lobby to meet with everyone although the gathering time is 6.30, if we don't get the script from Fuji, the content we see in the live broadcast will become Yi Mushiao playing big cards. After all the female guests checked into the room, Yi Mushiao also dragged a box in, and the other four female guests all turned their heads to look over. Sure enough, everyone is a human spirit, with no flaws on their faces. After calmly greeting everyone, Yi Mushiao carried her luggage to her bed. Hello, it's been several years since we last met. Do you still remember me? A timid female guest with a baby face came over to greet her. Of course I do. You're Yang Yuan Yuan. We've seen big child stars since we were young. Yi Mushiao was a bit puzzled, how could this person come over to say hello, but suddenly the other person grabbed her hand. Do you remember when we participated in Actors Please Report Together, you helped the girl who was recording the program together on the same day, the little actress who couldn't come at the last minute and the crew didn't have any extra makeup artists to put on her makeup. Yang Yuan Yuan excitedly clenched Yi Mushiao's hands. It turned out to be her, it was just a small gesture, I remember quite clearly. Xiao Xiao, I believe you're not the kind of person who seduces someone else's boyfriend. Sure enough, the person who came was not kind. She didn't even last three sentences before starting to talk about tea just as Yi Mushiao was about to retaliate, the actress leaning against the bed and playing with her phone suddenly spoke. Yang Yuan Yuan, what matters to you about others' affairs? The production team has come forward to clarify. What are you worrying about here? The tall and slender figure lay half on the bed, with a pair of fair long legs that made it difficult for people to look away. Even Yi Mushiao felt envious from the bottom of her heart. The long-legged beauty looked up and tilted her eyes at Yang Yuan Yuan, then started to argue. Put away your pitiful appearance, not everyone will eat your tricks. Yushi, do you have any misunderstandings about me? I'm really worried about Xiao Xiao. Yang Yuan Yuan looked aggrieved, her eyes gradually blurred, and she tried to defend herself. It's just a misunderstanding, everyone doesn't have to take it to heart. Let's just look for ducks on the show seriously. No, just find a partner. Don't be distracted by other things, and don't argue over me. Sisters. Live streaming. Hurry up and pinch it. Although Yi Mushiao was persuading me, what he thought in his heart was, let's fight. Let's fight. Move the black spotlight away from me. Sure enough, after hearing Yi Mushiao's unintentional favoritism, Yang Yuan Yuan became addicted to acting and even cried. The grudge between the long legged beauty Zhong Yushi and the child star Yang Yuan Yuan is well dot known in the industry. Intentionally arranging two people with grievances to participate in a variety show together, in order to have a conflict between them during the live broadcast. Just as Zhong Yushi couldn't help but stand up and curse, a noisy and chaotic sound suddenly came from outside the door. With a loud bang. End of this chapter. Chapter 6 
The fist and foot battle between ex-boyfriend and ex-colleague. You are listening at NovelFull.audio. Chapter 6 The Fist and Foot Battle Between Ex-Boyfriend and Ex-Colleague Gao Song Stop fighting. Calm down. This is all live streaming. Everyone looked towards the door one after another. The door of the female guest's bedroom fell to the ground in response. Two tall men tore at each other and fell in. The male stars next to him attempted to separate the two, but Gao Song and Gao Tianxu's fists fluttered wildly, regardless of the enemy or us. This industry relies on appearances to make a living, and we are not very familiar with each other. No one is willing to take the risk of stopping work and pull the two of us apart. So at first glance, it looks like the relatives of both sides are waving flags and shouting beside them. The female guest at the door was so scared that she hid inside the room. Yang Yuanyuan stopped pretending and ran into the room, seeing that the situation was not good. Yi Mushiao fixed her eyes and saw why Gao Tianxu had a fight with Gao Song. These two people used to wear the same pants, but now they don't even care about live streaming and start a big fight on the first day. I couldn't persuade them to fight, but they didn't dare to fight. They turned into a group of people watching two top male stars, elementary school students pulling their heads. After all, there used to be some friendships that hit me again, and if I don't stop them, I will definitely be blacklisted and trending again. Yi Mushiao skimmed the half-open hot water bottle next to her and tried the temperature. It burned people but did not cause any burns. Pick it up and walk elegantly to the two people who fell to the ground, pouring all the hot water from the pot. Ah! Ah! The two of them screamed and bounced off, constantly shaking their clothes soaked in hot water, attempting to quickly bring the temperature down. Have you all calmed down? You're going to fight in the living room. It's a big place with all the tools and a lot of audience. Dancing in the girls' bedrooms is too outrageous. Gao Tianxu looked at the face that occasionally appeared in his dream and hesitated to speak. On the contrary, Gao Song looked affectionate and apologized to Yi Mushiao first. Xiao Xiao, I'm sorry, I didn't handle my personal issue properly, which caused you trouble today. I haven't been in touch with you for several years and I'm not as familiar. Please call my full name. I really can't stand these scumbags, being half-hearted and pretending to have several people at the same time. Yi Mushiao is very disgusted with Gao Song's indecisive personality in handling emotions. Gao Song, aware of his wrongdoing, looked at Yi Mushiao with deep affection and said, I'm sorry, before turning around and leaving. Just after dealing with Gao Song, Gao Tianxu is ready to come over again. To Mr. Gao, first clean up the mess you have created, and then apologize seriously to the ladies present. Yi Mushiao is a bit angry. Has he gotten used to being a big star and lost all his basic manners? The two of them stood awkwardly in place, having not been pointed at by the nose for a long time. On the other hand, the other male guests quickly came out to smooth the situation. This door doesn't seem to be fixed for the time being. Let's help the ladies find other suitable rooms to rest in first. The newcomer who broke the deadlock was Wei Yu, a variety show prince with limited film and television works and average singing and dancing abilities. But with extremely strong imitation ability, it is very good at creating program effects, and is recognized by people in the industry as having high emotional intelligence. Wei Yu jokingly walked over and grabbed Gao Song's shoulder, then hugged Gao Tianxu forward together. Sorry ladies, they just had a disagreement and couldn't resist making a move. We apologize to everyone here, I'm sorry. I scared everyone. We will definitely perform well in the next few days to get back to everyone's good impression. You've all scared us, how could you break into a girl's room without knocking on the door? Yang Yuanyuan's coquettish appearance of fear caused Zhong Yushi next to her to roll her eyes. Are there still any need to knock on the door as they have all been directly dismantled a few men awkwardly smiled and began to help the female guests move their luggage to other rooms. Because the villa I stayed in was originally a homestay in the high.end villa area, the rooms were mostly double or triple rooms. 
Yang Yuan Yuan was about to stick to Yi Mushiao's side when she was instantly blocked by Zhong Yushi. We've booked this room together, you, go away. Without waiting for Yang Yuan Yuan to react, Zhong Yushi pulled Yi Mushiao into the room and closed the door with a loud bang to say goodbye. Listening to the people outside the door leave, Yi Mushiao smiled as she watched Zhong Yushi, who was still holding her hand and listening to the movements outside the door. Pooh, thank you for helping out. You and Yang Yuan Yuan have such a deep grudge, it seems that what is said online is still true. Who wants to help you? I just can't stand being a scheming woman. I see that you have a lot of ulterior motives, but you don't look like a bad person. Zhong Yushi released her hand and walked into the room to rest. Buzzing, Yi Mushiao's phone has been bombarded since the two of them flew into the room. Upon opening it, most of them were WeChat messages sent by my best friend Jiang Yuyu. Xiao Xiao. Don't pay attention to those two stinky men. That's too annoying. Gao Tian Shu is deliberately hyping up CP with you. Don't pay attention to Gao Song either. Both of them are harmful spirits. Don't pay attention to Yang Yuan Yuan. She's too green tea. Yi Mu Xiao smiled even happier. It seems that God's perspective is not very good either. He is even more anxious than himself. In the midst of Yuan Yu Yu's various roast, there was a message from his ex-husband Lu Lin Feng. Under the terrace, I'm waiting for you. Hmm isn't this the place marked by Fu Ji with no live broadcast footage? It's the employee passage for staff to enter and exit the villa. Staring at her phone in a daze, Zhong Yushi handed over a bottle of water. Don't daydream, barrage can also be operated by companies. Just focus on making money. This girl is interesting. She dares to say that during the live broadcast. No wonder before joining the group, Jiang also said that if given the opportunity, she would have more contact with Zhong Yushi. She is beautiful, upright, and rare in the industry. Yi Mu Xiao opened the water and took a sip. Thank you. I want to go out and take a look. See you later. Well, just take a closer look, Zhong Yushi said and began packing her luggage. As Yi Mu Xiao walked over, she opened her scarf and looked at it. At this moment, the hot search was almost boiling. Gao Song and Gao Tian Shu fight fiercely for Yi Mu Xiao, Yi Mu Xiao pours boiling water on Gao Song and Gao Tian Shu, Yi Mu Xiao training dogs, Yang Yuan Yuan acts coquettishly what is the entry for dog training. Curious to open and take a look. Tame wild male stars like training dogs, Yi Mu Xiao couldn't help but burst out laughing as she watched. Her big fans are so good at making entries, and she truly deserves to be a little sister who graduated from journalism. Xiao Xiao. A familiar deep voice drifted over from the darkness. He stood in the shadow wearing a delicate suit, with the light shining through the branches and sporadically hitting the collar that exposed a small piece of his neck. Lu Lin Feng walked slowly to Yi Mu Xiao's side, his slender and straight legs casually standing, outlining his perfect figure. The gentle summer breeze swayed the branches, and the obstructed lights flickered, making Lu Lin Feng appear uncertain. Don't misunderstand Mr. Lu, I have no contact with them at all. In my marriage heart, I only have you, and I am absolutely loyal to you. After Yi Mu Xiao finished speaking, she still raised her hands with a hint of reluctance and put on an attitude of, I am honest and lenient. Feeling the low pressure of Lu Lin Feng, Yi Mu Xiao reflexively slid and knelt down. The person across from them didn't answer, and the two of them froze in place like this. Mr. Lu, there's nothing to say. I'll go back first, and you should rest early too. Yi Mu Xiao has never seen Lu Lin Feng in this state before, and feels that since they have all divorced, it is better not to pay too much attention to the other party's emotions. Although it's a bit coincidental to participate in my ex-husband's love show right after divorce, it's important to understand that these are for the sake of fame, profit, and the truth behind that matter, not for the sake of people. Having completed her mental work, Yi Mu Xiao turned around and was about to return to her room. However, Lu Lin Feng suddenly approached and walked across from her, 
speaking mysteriously, end of this chapter. Chapter 7 Love of Ex-Husband and Ex-Colleagues You are listening at NovelFull.audio Chapter 7 Love of Ex-Husband and Ex-Colleagues, I'm Leaving Now Yi Xiao was suddenly tightly embraced by Lu Lin Feng, and neither of them spoke. Time seemed to have come to a standstill, and Lu Lin Feng's heart sank into this moment. Some inexplicable emotions in my heart are about to pour out but now we must be patient, there are still many problems to be solved. Yi Xiao didn't know in what capacity to face Lu Lin Feng's farewell, so she stood quietly in the same place, unsure of how to respond. For her, the other party has already made a choice, and she doesn't need to guess and waste her energy for someone who doesn't matter. Just why I didn't push him away, I didn't understand either. Until Lu Linfeng released his arm and lowered his head to gaze at her. Yi Xiao suddenly felt that the atmosphere was too ambiguous, and quickly took a few steps back to widen the safe distance. Oh, take care. There was another silence, and both of them tacitly remained silent. Yi Xiao really doesn't know what to say. The two of them have no relationship anymore, and now they can't even be considered friends. The other party seemed to have nothing to say anymore, and Yi Xiao quickly turned around and walked back. Just two steps away, Lu Linfeng's voice came from behind. Take care of yourself. Hmm. After the third time, I was completely numb to this unchanging line. Yi Xiao's footsteps did not stop, and he answered before quickly heading towards the villa. Watching the graceful figure walk away, Lu Linfeng took out Yi Xiao's belongings from his sleeve. For safety reasons, let me have it here. I really hope to tell you the truth earlier. Lu Linfeng had a lot to say to Yi Xiao in his heart, but now he can only endure he picked up his phone and sent a message to manager Lin. Now leave Cloud City and come with me. Lu Linfeng looked again at the direction Yi Xiao was leaving, and the tenderness in his eyes slowly turned into a wall. He was determined to move in the opposite direction. She didn't want to quit and had to leave on her own. I hope she can be safe and smooth before Yi Xiao could walk back to his room, he saw Gao Tian Shu blocking the lawn at the entrance. Too unlucky. This person's appearance is not good. Seeing Gao Tian Shu's sunny and clean smile, I felt a chill in my heart. His impeccable acting skills were just that he didn't come across a suitable main melody work, otherwise he would have won the Best Actor Award long ago. Xiao Xiao, long time no see, I. Stop. There's no one here, and the camera can't hear the sound of the conversation. Just stand five meters away from me and say something quickly. Yi Mu Xiao looked disgusted and quickly walked towards the house. It had been many years and this person was still so haunted. Xiao Xiao, after all these years, you still hate me so much. Can't you let me go? Gao Tian Shu didn't pretend anymore. He was originally going to hype up CP and had to complete the task in order to gain popularity. You can pull me down. I can't even leave in time when you say that. I have to run. Goodbye, disaster star. Speaking, he picked up his skirt and sprinted into the villa. Just as I entered the door, I ran into Gao Song waiting for her at the door. Yi Mu Xiao's heart howled with sorrow. Is this sending me to participate in the love show? This is asking me to participate in survival. Despite being five meters away, Yi Mu Xiao made a stop gesture with a brush. Don't move. Yi Mu Xiao said, If you have anything to say, just stand here and say it. As evidenced by the camera, I am not familiar with you. I'm sorry Xiao Xiao, no, I'm sorry Ms. Yi. It's because I didn't handle my relationship with my ex-girlfriend well, which caused her to misunderstand you. We've been breaking up for a long time. Gao Song had a lonely expression on his face, and the person he had been longing for was right in front of him, yet he was kept away from him like a fierce tiger. Mr. Gao, it's useless for you to say these things now. When the news was just fermenting, I didn't see you clarify it. I'll bring it up again during the live broadcast. The topic that was supposed to fall off may be stirred up again. 
It's hard not to let me guess your intentions. Yi Twilight spoke coldly, and directly exposed Gao Song's mind. I'm sorry, I just wanted to talk to you. Weren't we very close before? When did we get further and further apart? Gao Song's face was injured, and he couldn't think of how the current situation could have happened. What you said is a long time ago. You are now a popular drama actor, and I am a past artist. It is normal for me not to have any contact. If Mr. Gao really wants to express his apologies, please clarify on his Weibo and stay away from me. Thank you. If there is nothing wrong, I will go back to rest first. Yi Mushiao is a bit tired and has experienced too much in the past two days. As soon as I stepped back into the entertainment industry with half my foot, I encountered these few obstacles. Don't stop, quickly move to the bedroom Yi Mushiao just wants to take a hot shower and get a good sleep now. However, the heavens did not fulfill people's wishes, ladies and gentlemen, please gather in the living room now. We have important news to announce. The electronic system of the villa kept broadcasting throughout the house until all the guests gathered. Yi Mushiao was already in the living room, so she decided to find a corner position and collapsed onto the sofa. Until everyone arrives, the host announces. In order to protect guests from external influences and facilitate better communication, please submit your phone. We will equip you with a new phone and hand over your original phone to a reliable person for safekeeping. The guests finished listening to all the whispers. Yi Mushiao thought to herself, isn't it just to prevent everyone from seeing the barrage and prevent guests from adjusting their states based on the barrage? Anyway, I am very good at dressing up on a regular basis, so I am fully capable of handling live variety shows. So Yi Mushiao wanted to set an example and reached into his pocket to touch his phone. Hmm. Where's my phone? Yi Mushiao stood up in shock. Did he just run away? Impossible, although the skirt is made of precise silk material that is smooth and skin-friendly. But the pocket design is closed, so even if you participate in triathlon, nothing will fall out. The only possibility is that Lu Lin Fong. Originally, when Lu Lin Fong was in a daze just now, he was actually stealing his own phone. Damn it! Once again, this old fox's way. What kind of thoughts did he have? The host saw Yi Mushiao stand up and quickly added. Miss Yi has just handed over her phone to the agent through the staff. Thank you for your support in our work. Realizing that everyone was looking at him with some opinions, Yi Mushiao could only show a professional smirk and said, coincidentally, to avoid it. Because Yi Mushiao was the first person to lose her phone, the staff walked towards her holding a box of phones. The phone styles are the same, but one is placed separately in the corner. The staff took it out and handed it to Yi Mushiao, blinking at her. What exactly is Lu Lin Fong selling? Open your phone, which contains the contact information of each guest and the number of Lu Lin Fong sure enough, there is careful thinking. Yi Mushiao was frowning as he stared at his phone, and with a buzzing vibration, a message appeared on the screen. I will keep your phone for you. If you encounter any unresolved issues, please contact me as soon as possible. Helplessly rolling his eyes, he turned his head and met Gao Tian Shu in the distance, only to find that Fang was pretending to be looking at him with deep affection. Yi Mushiao, who had a wicked heart, quickly turned his head and looked to the other side, shouting in his heart that the evil spirit had dispersed. Before he could fully retract his gaze, he met Gao Song who was staring at him from across the street. Help, ah! Can you two stop acting under the camera? Yi Mushiao screamed inwardly, what two plague gods? Watching Yi Mushiao's lively expression, he fell into memories, end of this chapter. Chapter 8 I make you my brother and you make me my cousin. You are listening at novelfull.audio Chapter 8 I make you my brother and you make me my cousin speaking of which, Gao Tianxu and Gao Song are actually related by blood. Hai Father Gao Baiqing and Song Father Gao Qinzhong are cousins. At that time, Gao Qianxu's family had relatively good conditions and ran a company. 
However, his mother passed away due to illness when he was very young. Gao Baiqing never remarried for the sake of Gao Tianxu. It can be said that his father was his mountain from childhood to adulthood. Despite unexpected circumstances, Gao Fu's company went bankrupt due to being calculated against his family. In just a few days, years of crystal clear have vanished in an instant, and the family is heavily indebted. When feeling down, Gao Fu had no choice but to seek help from his cousin, Gao Song's father, Song Fu. Unexpectedly, Gao Qianzhong promised to lend him money to get through the difficulties on the surface, but proposed to use his family's property as collateral. With no other options, Gao Baiqing could only agree to his request. However, he never expected that when Gao Qianzhong brought people to collect the house, he took out another mortgage contract, not only took the house away, but also did not lend a penny to Gao Baiqing. It was raining heavily that day, and Gao Baiqing and Gao Tianxu were thrown into the rain like this. When Gao Baiqing spoke up and questioned, he received indeed Gao Qianzhong's wanton insults and a punch. In that heavy rain, Gao Tianxu's mountain collapsed. The father and son wandered together for a few days, just as Gao Baiqing was about to take Gao Tianxu to commit suicide, Gao Song appeared. After learning about his father's actions, Gao Song had a big argument with Gao Qian. Taking all of his cash, he gave it to Gao Baiqing. When Gao Song saw the situation of his uncle's family, he felt a deep sense of guilt and guilt in his heart. Even though my father was not aware of the persecution of my uncle's family affairs, looking at the current situation of Gao Tianxu and his father, I couldn't stand alone. Fortunately, Gao Baiqing was a capable person, and with a little capital and effort, his life gradually improved. Afterwards, the two of them gradually entered the entertainment industry, and Gao Tianxu has now made a name for himself in the industry with his inspiring character design of Never Give Up. Meanwhile, Gao Song, Yi Muxiao, and Li Wanqing entered the industry at the same time and got to know each other. The three of them helped each other and gradually made some achievements in the entertainment industry. Speaking of which, Yi Muxiao will be related to Gao Tianxu, which also has a lot of credit from Gao Song. For many years, Gao Song has had a strong sense of guilt towards Gao Tianxu because of what his father did. So whenever I have any good connections or resources, I want to introduce them to Gao Tianxu. In order to help Gao Tianxu develop better in his circle, even his own friends were introduced to him. Gao Song thought and did the same thing, but now he regrets it he regretted introducing Yi Muxiao to Gao Tianxu. When introducing them, Gao Song once told Gao Tianxu that Yi Muxiao was the girl he liked. But I didn't want to, before I could confess my feelings, be taken first by Gao Tianxu Gao Song once thought about confronting Gao Tianxu in person, but that damn sense of guilt eventually made her back down. Gao Song advised himself that if they were truly in love, if they could become a star city, then he would fulfill them. Watching the happiness of the two people who are most in my heart can also be considered my own happiness it wasn't until later that insiders exposed the particularly ugly appearance of Yi Muxiao and Gao Tianxu that Gao Song realized that he not only missed chasing Yi Muxiao, but also personally pushed her to a garbage. Gao Song finally realized that Gao Tianxu was just a scumbag. In recent years, he has been trying his best to contact Yi Muxiao, but now that he finally meets her, he has the opportunity to explain everything. As a result, Gao Tianxu, who had killed thousands of times, suddenly appeared and thrust sideways. Gao Tianxu has always harbored resentment towards Gao Songjia, even if Gao Song is willing to take his heart and lungs out towards him, he feels that it is the Gao Tianxu family that owes him. Although Gao Song had slippers, he did not have no complaints about Gao Tianxu's fierce competition for love. The two of them met at the entrance of the girl's bedroom because Yi Muxiao had already torn their faces. They had a disagreement and engaged in a physical altercation. Everyone didn't want to be affected, so the remaining three quickly formed an alliance, leaving only the last room. Gao Tianxu and Gao Song had no choice but to sleep together. The summer night was quiet and terrifying, and through the open window, 
I could vaguely hear the laughter and joy of the three people next door passing on intermittently, even listening to the topic of discussing a fight. Unlike the laughter and cheers from the next door, the atmosphere between the two before was really strange. To this day, with Gao Tianxu's status and influence, there is no need to show any mercy to Gao Song. And recently, Gao Song has also known that besides Yi Mushiao being taken love by Gao Tianxu, the resources and unfair treatment he suffered later also came from Gao Tianxu's hands. The last bit of brotherhood between the two was also erased by these new and old grudges. Finally, Gao Tianxu took the lead in conducting a nuclear goodness exchange. Gao Song, I advise you not to interfere in my affairs anymore. With your intelligence, you can't understand love affairs at all. If you continue to trouble me, be careful that I won't be able to keep you in this circle. Under the camera, Gao Tianxu demonstrated his powerful acting skills, speaking harshly and with a gentle smile on his face. Gao Song's angry eyes widened and he responded with a slightly twisted smile. He he, you think so? I have taken care of this matter. Do you think I don't know your relationship with Shan Xiao Xiao? I won't let you use Xiao Xiao anymore. Although Gao Song has a simple nature, after all, he has been in the entertainment industry for so many years and can still handle face-saving things in his daily life. Previously, it was also because of excessive concern about Yi Mushiao that I couldn't control my emotions well for a while, and only then did I lose control of my anger. Now I will also cover my anger with reason. The atmosphere in the room is nuclear gas, but through the silenced live broadcast room, it looks completely brotherly and respectful. On the other hand, Yi Mushiao had already thoroughly investigated these gossips before joining the team. Before they could even take action, the two of them had already started to fight. I have to say, you don't have to deal with it yourself to watch such a great show. You don't have to be too happy but just a fight is not enough, of course it will escalate your conflict. One is scumbag, and the other is scumbag. If you can't compare who is worse, then let's both stink and rot together. Yi Mushiao pondered for a moment, her eyes twitched, and her mind came up with a plan. Since Gao Tianxu has always believed that he came to this variety show because of her. I feel like I'm avoiding him because I don't want to show too much concern for him. Why don't we just comply with his wishes the next day? This morning's program segment is beach volleyball, starting with the partner selection segment. The female guests will draw lots first to determine the order. Afterwards, in order, Select the male guest as your partner for today. Yi Mushiao drew number four. She had originally planned to choose Wei Yu, but was selected by Yang Yuan Yuan, who was ranked third. Wei Yu also didn't expect it to be like this. When he was dragged away by Yang Yuan Yuan, he looked at Yi Mushiao helplessly like a child who had been kidnapped. But after all, this was a live broadcast, and Yi Mushiao could only cast sympathetic glances at him shrugging his shoulders, expressing helplessness. Alas, seek your own blessings it's not that I don't want to help you, it's all fate. It's fate. It was Yi Mushiao's turn to choose the paired guests, and only the fourth male guest Gao Song and the fifth male guest Gao Tianxu remained on the stage. Due to their extreme behavior yesterday, the agents of other female guests were afraid that their own artists would have too close contact with them, which would damage their reputation. Therefore, they all prohibited their own artists from having too much interaction with them. The two of them were left to the end, but they didn't feel embarrassed. Instead, they both stared at Yi Mushiao with burning eyes. Faced with this pair of resentful brothers and brothers, Yi Mushiao made a decisive choice, end of this chapter. Chapter 9 The Fatal Strike of the Duck Combination You are listening at NovelFull.audio Chapter 9 The Fatal Strike of the Duck Combination, I Choose the Fifth Female Guest, Zhong Yushi. Yi Mushiao surprisingly chose a female guest. Yi Mushiao didn't choose anyone. Gao Tianxu and Gao Song were abandoned for election, the first same dot sex duo born in the history of love affairs Yi Mushiao knows how to play the barrage is boiling, who would have thought that on the second day of the love show, you could see a pair of ducks and ducks. 
Is this something that can be broadcasted? The host petrified on the spot, but Yi Mushiao urged the host to quickly move forward with the game. If there's no problem, the host should ask me if I agree with my chosen partner. I won't be playing beach volleyball later. I am willing. Zhong Yushi raised her hand and slapped Yi Mushiao, happily holding hands and standing together. Two girls are happy and two men are possessed by bitter gourds. Seeing the expressions of Gao Tianxu and Gao Song Taiching, the host felt overwhelmed. Gao Tianxu carefully glared at the host, realizing that the already scheduled process was not quickly resolved. The director quickly spoke up and said, Ladies and gentlemen, according to the program's regulations, male and female guests are paired. Could you please choose one from male guests number 4 and number 5? Due to Gao Song's girlfriend causing a stir in the production team, Gao Tianxu insisted that Yi Mushiao would not choose Gao Song even if she killed her. Even if Yi Mushiao discovers an issue with the draw midway, when it's her turn, she will be the only suitable candidate left. Two people can use each other, which is actually a win.win -win situation, but Yi Mushiao won't give him this opportunity. You can use your fame, but you have to listen to me. Use it if you want, use it beautifully. The rules only stipulate guests who choose a fixed number. Zhong Yushi and I already have a fixed number, so there is no problem with mutual selection. The program team has determined that there are loopholes in the regulations, and there is no mandatory requirement that only male and female guests can choose from each other. When the live broadcast froze like this, news came from the distant director's team that a female could be paired. Yi Mushiao knew he would definitely succeed in his scheme. When the camera caught the surprised expressions of other guests, he raised his chin at a familiar figure outside the camera. The famous director Li Tudu is holding a script and discussing the process with Fu Ji. Gao Tianxu also saw Li Tu 675 behind the camera. This guy is doing something bad to himself. What is his relationship with Yi Mushiao? Before Gao Tianxu could react, the production team had already urged the paired guests to compete. There will be a total of three rounds of matches, pairwise matches, and the team that wins 10 points in each match will win. Due to the presence of five pairs of guests, the first two rounds of each round will draw lots to determine the vacant guests. Yi Mushiao and Zhong Yushi were very lucky to have the first round of free time, and they watched the other four teams fight fiercely, chatting and laughing. Firstly, Yang Yuan Yuan and Wei Yu met the fitness maniac duo of Wang Yaya and Xie Bashi. These two are top female internet celebrities who live stream fitness on Dull, and well-known actors in the entertainment industry who love fitness. As long as it is a sports-related competitive event, it can be said that, once Boya makes a move, the champion is already in hand. A few days ago, neither of them had much opportunity to perform. This time, they came to their own sports home field, but they need to give it a good performance. This expression was too murderous, leaving Yang Yuan Yuan and Wei Yu with no fighting power. Fifteen minutes in a row, quickly killing the game. In the other two groups, Gao Tianxu and Gao Song, with resentment of breaking through the sky, fought against the scholarly family combination of Li Tunin and Chen Yun. Li Tunin grew up overseas and knows multiple languages, but never flaunts himself. He is a typical Western elite. She also has a healthy wheat color on her body, unlike other girls who pursue ultimate whitening. She is the most famous travel blogger on Weibo. Chen Yuni is a child of a literary family, who grew up immersed in Chinese literature and harbored a poet in his heart. He is particularly fascinated by current medicine, and only entered the entertainment industry as an older, after graduating from medical school, just to fulfill his mother's dream of being an actor. Both of them are a classic elite group, so they have a certain momentum in dealing with the competition. However, they were faced with the first male duo to be abandoned and had no choice but to pair up. Inside, there are Gao Tianxu who cannot afford to lose and Gao Song who refuses to accept defeat. Winning the competition and selecting the female guest who wants to spend the most night dating, 
but they have the only chance to turn things around now, otherwise they would have lost too much although there is a gap in strength between the two teams, the scholarly family combination has relied on a tenacious spirit and has been persistently holding on to the score. Until Gao Tianxu made a powerful dunk, the volleyball quickly flew towards the girl's face, and that force was no longer something that a girl could stop. Chen Yinyi looked at her potential injured partner and quickly went over to block the ball. Due to anxiety and the soft sand, I rushed to the girl in time and blocked the ball with my back. But one did not step firmly and twisted his foot, so he had to reluctantly withdraw from the subsequent competition. Yimushia thought to herself that these two people still have a strong sense of CP, and it doesn't look like they just met. Just in a daze, I was called to draw lots. In this round, Yi Mu Xiao drew a group as opponents among fitness experts and Gao Tian Xu and Gao Song, and automatically took turns without being drawn. The enemy's path is narrow, and Yi Mu Xiao directly drew the male duo. The barrage became lively again. Century duel between male and female groups, finally starting to be interesting. Play it. Play it. Play it. The enemy's path is narrow, I want to watch the battle between the Mandarin and the Ducks. The barrage is full of happy and gloating audience watching the play. Yi Mu Xiao and Zhong Yushi smiled at each other, feeling confident in their hearts. Zhong Yushi has played for the women's volleyball provincial team before, and she has also played beach volleyball a lot in recent years. It's just a slight difference in the venue, we can still lose to these two goods. The two of them requested to start fighting directly, without giving Gao Tian Xu and Gao Song any breathing time. Even if Gao Tian Xu could tolerate it, being forced into such a situation by Yi Mu Xiao would not completely suppress his temper. The underhand spike was all sorts of ruthless, but on the contrary, Gao Song always threw water every time he returned the ball. Realizing that the opponent's attack was becoming increasingly vicious, Yi Mu Xiao gave a glance to Zhong Yushi. Zhong Yushi understood and adjusted the angle by bouncing the ball after the opponent's dunk. Seeing the volleyball being neatly thrown over her, Yi Mu Xiao ran up, took off, and swung her arm to slam with all her might, all in one go. The volleyball route cleverly blends with the light, causing Gao Tian Xu and Gao Song to be dazzled at the same time. When the two regained their vision, they saw the roaring volleyball and had no time to react. Bang! With a loud bang. The volleyball hit an important part of Gao Tianxu's waist without bias. The female group will take advantage of the situation and score another point. The whole room was silent, and everyone took a deep breath, both men and women sweating for Gao Tianxu. In the midst of everyone's attention, Gao Tian Xu slowly but straightforwardly fainted on the beach in pain. End of this chapter. Chapter 10. Sacrifice oneself to protect one's home. You are listening at novelfull.audio. Chapter 10 Sacrifice oneself to protect one's home. The medical staff on the sidelines were preparing to rush into the field for emergency treatment when Gao Tian Xu suddenly twitched on the ground and stood up. I'm fine, I'm fine, everyone don't have to worry. With the spirit of, unable to afford to lose, Gao Tian Xu was in a state of pain to the point where his soul was out of his body, and he regained consciousness in just one minute. But he still called for a pause, a ten-minute ceasefire, to put his soul and body back in place. The barrage has gone crazy with laughter. Help, that deadly blow just now actually resurrected the person in place. Laughing to death, fatal hit, chicken, dot. How could it be such a precise and unprepared blow is it intentional? It's not even as accurate as intentional. Ha 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 Gao Tian Xu, who was in a state of war damage, quickly returned to his position due to his tenacious fighting spirit. Although there are differences in strength between men and women, under the leadership of professional athlete Zhong Yushi, the female combination has always been leading the score. Gao Tian Xu was so angry when he saw Gao Song pulling his hips so hard. You don't want to lose face, I don't want to embarrass myself with you. When the score reached 9 to 9, Gao Tian Xu finally seized the opportunity to win the final game. 
After Zhong Yuxi returned the ball and stumbled and lost his center of gravity, Gao Tianxu's dunk was approaching. Seeing this, Yi Mushiao quickly rushed over and prepared to use his back to block the ball. It's not important for the game, don't get hurt. Now, Gao Song, who was extremely anxious, ignored Yi Mushiao's injury and stood in front of the net. This last ball condensed all the resentment of Gao Tianxu, and the volleyball spun and roared away wrapped in flying sand. Bang! The volleyball hit Gao Song's back of the head precisely in front of the net. Bang again. Gao Song fell straight on the beach. Gao Song. Before losing consciousness, Gao Song finally heard Yi Mushiao anxiously shouting his name as he wished. The barrage heat has reached a new height. Gao Song sacrificed himself to block his own bunker. Gao Song smiled as he bravely fought and was injured. Gao Tianxu was knocked unconscious by volleyball murder. Volleyball, the live broadcast, was urgently cut off on site and emergency personnel rushed to the scene for rescue. Are you crazy, Gao Tianxu? It's just a competition, do you need such a fierce hand? Yi Mushiao ran over with concern, pushed aside Gao Tianxu who was standing on the side, and squatted beside him to check on Gao Song's condition. Fortunately, I was just hit and fainted briefly. Looking at Gao Song who fell to the ground and couldn't stand up, Gao Tianxu fell silent for a moment. It wasn't until the medical staff stated that there was nothing serious that Gao Tianxu's state relaxed. Everything has changed since then, right? A long time ago, I was also a good person and a character who tried every means to protect the people around me. Gao Tianxu watched as Gao Song was carried away on a stretcher and left the scene together. The last goal was won by Yi Mushiao and Zhong Yuxi due to Gao Song's heroic dedication. But due to the huge physical exertion, when fighting against the fitness maniac combination, although the score was also very anxious, they still lost to Xie Bashi, who had vastly different physical fitness. The final result of the competition was 8.10, with Yi Mushiao and Zhong Yuxi narrowly losing by two points to the fitness madness group. Wang Yaya and Xie Bashi are already like dot minded, and through two rounds of competition, their relationship has developed rapidly. After winning the game, the two of them successfully selected each other. Starting from the afternoon, the two of them have been on a date, with the big meal, luxury car, and villa program team all arranged. The other male and female guests need to make their own lunch, which lays the foundation for the selection of future date partners. When Yi Mushiao and Zhong Yuxi finished grooming and went to the kitchen, Gao Song was sitting in the living room, staring blankly with an ice pack on the back of his head. Wei Yu and Yang Yuanyuan were chattering on the side, observing the situation. The doctors say it's okay, you two don't need to stick to him and let him take a break. The tone remained cold, but Gao Song still heard some concern from this sentence. Xiao Xiao really understands herself well. Although she doesn't like other people's excessive attention, she feels embarrassed to refuse. My relationship with Li Wanqing also started, and I don't even know how it started. At first, they were just good friends, but later on, because they lived close, they often ate together and became more and more connected. We have been together since our debut, and Gao Song only regards her as a very good friend. Until he found out that Gao Tianxu and Yi Mushiao were together, he suffered a double blow of betrayal from his family and another blow from the person he liked. That night, I was so drunk that I woke up to find that I was sleeping with Li Wanqing, and it was natural to be together since then. From then on, Li Wanqing began to monitor herself in all directions without blind spots. Whether it's clothing, food, housing, transportation, or work schedules, Li Wanqing needs to know everything in detail, especially about the dynamics of Yi Mushiao. If there is a handover between her work and Yi Mushiao, Li Wanqing would love to sew it on herself and follow around 24 hours a day. Half a year before participating in this live broadcast, I had already broken up with her. After replacing all the personal information she knew, such as door lock passwords and phone passwords, she still couldn't stop Li Wanqing from monitoring her. Due to the face-saving of the leaders of the same company, I have been reluctant to respond. 
who knew that this time Li Wanqin quietly followed and came to Yunchen, causing a big scene at the start of the love show. Even though I have millions of mouths, I can't explain it clearly to Yi Mushiao looking at Gao Song's rich facial expressions, Yi Mushiao felt inexplicable. Why does he keep staring at himself? What is he recalling? Why cry sometimes, cry loudly sometimes this person is too unlucky, we need to stay away. Yi Mushiao didn't wait for Gao Song to finish recalling his past, so he quickly dodged to the kitchen like a plague god. The kitchen is open and integrated with the living room. Yi Mushiao and Zhong Yushi skipped over Gao Song and went to the kitchen to prepare lunch. Unexpectedly, the scholarly family group was also busy in the kitchen. Li Tunan was frying steak by the stove, and Chen Yun was cutting vegetables by the cooking table. And next to them, there was an extremely repulsive face. Gao Tianxu. He was standing on the stove next to Li Tunan, focused on boiling soup. Yi Mushiao was speechless for a moment, and Gao Tianxu was exceptionally strong both mentally and physically. This morning, he suffered a double blow from his body and teammates, and was able to maintain the state of this top star. Even if Yi Mushiao detested him to the extreme, he had to admit that Gao Tianxu was really a good material for becoming a star. If you don't know him well enough, you will definitely be confused like others. For example, the passionate, scholarly family group in the morning, Li Tunan's eyes couldn't help but drift towards Gao Tianxu. Chen Yuni, this big straight guy, is still seriously cutting vegetables. His CP is about to be stolen from the tower, and his nerve lines are too thick Yi Mushiao walked quickly to the cooking table, took Chen Yuni's knife, and pushed him towards Li Tunan. I'm good at cutting vegetables, let me do it. You can help Li Tunan fry steak, be careful not to let her hands get splashed with oil. The cooking knife flipped up and down, whether it was shredding, slicing, or chopping, Yi Mushiao picked up and fell the knife, completing it in minutes. Zhong Yushi couldn't help but applaud, this knife technique is truly professional. Yi Mushiao was in a good mood. Who would have thought that the vegetable cutting skills he had practiced while being bored at home before could still be showcased at this time? When making a fruit salad, she cut off the leaves on the strawberries and handed one to Zhong Yushi. But I didn't want a handsome and disgusting face to suddenly catch my eye, and I just opened my mouth, end of this chapter.